Hi everybody, it's Gamer Number 98 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time we cleared the god awful Rustic Bucket Bay, and now in this part we're going to go to World Nine at last. So up here, after changing the water level to level two, we got a note door requiring 640 notes. But now we've opened that up. And here we go. And oh look, a tough obstacle. Now, if you want to get through here safely, then just take them out with eggs. Because there's quite a lot of them in this one spot tight spot. So I won't really bother about it because we can get a life we fill up ahead. There we go, we made it through. And what can I say? This is definitely a big change from the uh, Rusty Bucket Ray. I've got this skirt, so when I'm thinner, it really makes me look a winner. Okay, you have your fun. So this is the final time we'll see Brentilda. Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is flying radio-controlled bats. Yeah, that doesn't sound so bad. This poor guy called Greasy Grant was her first and only boyfriend. I pity the guy. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a mad vulture as a pet. So, here we are, the entrance to World 9. Now, we did see a jigsaw a while back, but there was no podium, so we couldn't complete it. Well, we'll be able to do that now. We just need to go up here, and you can see a note door, and we can actually go through here, and this will lead to, a ne to the next part, but mm, let's not do that. Because I'm doing this in order. Okay, if we go through here, we'll be led up to a very high hole, leading to a mumble token, and that's about it. Alright, so back here now. We want to make our way this way, and there's a switch here that we'll see for yourself. It makes the podium appear so we can finally complete that puzzle. But we're so high up in the lair. Don't worry, there's a shortcut. Because down here, at long last, the second red cauldron. Going down. Tele. Um. Warp. So now all I have to do is go to that puzzle. We saw it before, so you should remember where it is. Through here. And. Here's the puzzle. Now we can complete it. This takes a massive 15 pieces. Well, jiggers. But still, it's the best world in the game. And a lot of people will agree. Oh, how I've waited to record this bit. Click, clock, wood. So now, all we have to do is go back, and then we can enter World 9. Which, despite not, despite being the last world in the game, it's definitely not the hardest. But either way, let's go. So let's -a go. Oh, okay. I don't know why I did not run from that. It was my bad. <laughs> so up here, here's Click Clock Woods entrance. But first off, there's a hidden thing around here. 
There. Hit it in the grass. It's, a, it's one of those spring jump pads for one up. Now let's go in. Oh yeah. Now click clock wood is definitely the most unique world in the game. Why? Because it's the same world four times, only it's set in different seasons, and you do them in order from spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The doors are locked though to the seasons, but there's a switch that will open them up. Like here's the one you need to press to go to spring. And now, you're going to see why this world is so amazing. For me, this is definitely the most nostalgic world in the game. And for a lot of people too. Let's go in. And... Oh, I must resist the urge to whistle to the music. So the way Click Clock Wood works is, not only are there four seasons, but it's always the same area, only there's different changes depending on the season, which is clever. But it's always the same giant tree you got to climb. And there's these guys. These guys do two hit points of damage if you hit them. And if you want the goodies they're guarding, you will have to become invincible and jump on them. But this way... And here, somebody moved this boulder. Naughty can't get in his house. So that's Naughty, he's a beaver. And if that seems familiar, it's because it is. Because Naughty is actually the beaver enemies from the Donkey Kong Country games. Or rather, the first one. So, yeah, the only real. The only real hazard to this world is it's very easy to fall as you're climbing the giant tree in the middle. But aside from that, this world isn't all that nasty compared to the engine room. We need to poop five eggs in the hole and whoa! We somehow spawned a giant plant. We can do something about this plant later, but for now we made it grow at least. And there's another obstacle, another hazard, which is right in front of us. Now this is another throwback to another game Rare made. My bramble field makes you yelp, and loss of life it sure does help. And another rehash of an enemy, but these ones are different, the big cluckers as they're called. If you hit their beaks, it actually does too damage. So brambles. Huh. Do, 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 do. Now the big cluckers, they have a they have a specific pattern. Watch carefully. So one click, click, one okay, cluck, three cluck, 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 and it repeats. And mumbo's in this world, but we're gonna we're gonna leave that until later on. No more, no more, no more. Oh. <laughs> Some people don't like whistling out there. Which is a shame because I am really good at it. And it's something I do whenever I'm in a good mood. Just grab the nerds and... Okay. Just sell them out of the way because they won't come back even if we leave the season. Re-enter it. They only come back when we leave the world itself. Because what we, where we were just just before was just the lobby. Uh, is there anything down there? Yeah, he's got an Ikabukum. Actually, I'm gonna get that later because there'll be a time where we could get it safely. Oh, you know what? Never mind. The big clucker said, "Screw that! You're getting it now, boy." Up! You fail. Oh, I killed that one. 
So, how's about we climb the giant tree? Everything that's made that giant tree is all contained in this tiny little seed. So in spring, rain falls and these leaves here are, are still buds. But they'll, they'll sprout in the summer. What's this way? Ikabukum. A one up, but I'm not gonna bother. Ah. The music is what makes this world stand out for a lot of people. Grant Kirkhope, the composer, he is a musical genius to say the least. And here's a beehive. We can't go in there. Too bad. We'll have to come back some other time. Hint, hint. And there's an example of why this world can be considered nasty and dangerous. Oh! Clearly I'm making my way up there, but I'm going to let the music see sink in, so I'm not going ahead. I was just patting my knees there. Woo, woo, woo! Woo, woo, woo. And since you have to visit this place four different times, obviously the jiggies and notes will all be spread out. Right, we're heading into a new area. This is a tree house, which gets more and more complete as the seasons go on. Oh dear! There's so much room for platforming. I see why you'd struggle with this world, but I love this world to bits. Plus, if you die, it's human error. It's not due to cheap camera angles, like in Rusty Bucket Bay's engine room. Alright, it's best to zoom the camera in and just carefully make your way across these miraculously floating wood platforms. Alright. So going up here, we're in a, we're up to a house, and here's the summer switch. So hit the summer switch, and we can go to summer. Very creative level. They save the best to last, not the hardest to last. Right, so let's go in here, and guess what? Fanfare music. Oh wait, not yet. <laughs> Jump, chew. Nabnut likes acorns. I will just eat a few more. Nabnut sure likes his nuts. So, Nabnut the squirrel. He'll, he'll. Well, what he's doing is different per season. Here, he's supposed to be ready for winter, so he's gathering acorns, but. He's eating them when he should be saving those. But oh well. He'll be the one with granite. No, does. Oh, careful. This way, we've got a giant bird nest. Oh, camera. Let's hatch this egg. Remember Bubble Group Swamp. Whoa, me airy, mighty eagle, needs sleep now. Aw, oh, cute little guy. He'll also, he'll also change as the seasons go on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we haven't got a cheeky yet. That just shows how much there is to do. Now these platforms, they become more of them as the seasons go on, so basically the game gets easier as you go through the seasons. I'm ignoring the Jinjo for now. And in here... Right, got these annoying whip cracks. Oh, and a one-up. I sure could use the recovery. And at last, a jiggy. Now there's always going to be a one-up here in every season, but the one-up does change position slightly. Get the 
Thank you. Alright, so now I'm going to see Mumbo. This transformation is only available in spring for some reason. Okay, I, I lived. That's all that matters. Plus, it's a bit of a quick way down. Ah, if only the wadding boots were in Donkey Kong Country 2, then the Bramble levels would be so much easier. Don't get me wrong, the Bramble levels are memorable and all, but damn it, they're annoyingly hard. Mumbo! We need a massive 25 tokens for this. And like I said, it can only be used in spring. Ubutaka! We're a, a bee! Mumbo magic much good, B is best yet. So the bee can fly! The bee can fly! You just tap the A button to fly higher and you can hold B and it sort of propels you forward. Oh wait, no, no, not in, no, not in this game! Okay, okay, okay. We can enter the beehive! And even though some characters say that the bear, Banjo the bear is fat, now he's fat. Banjo the bee! Bzzz. Hello fat little bee, we zubbers are guarding Grunty's golden honey piece. That's a cheeky, you idiot. We've been told there's a honey bear out there. A bear? And there's the pink ginger, only available here in spring. Zubbers. Uh. Now there's another jiggy to get in spring, and it's only accessible as the bee. And it's really high up and can be tough to find if you don't keep your eyes peeled. It's a shame the bee's only available in spring. You try to go to any other season, you just turn back to normal. Okay, there. There's a jiggy. Get it? Nice. So yeah, those, those um, clapping guys... They don't bother with you when you're the bee. They let you take their valuables. Oh wait, I think I'm getting propelled forward by holding B. Oh yeah. Alright, alright, Mr. Gingy. Okay, so there's... Yeah, that's it for spring. So now we're gonna go into summer. Where things change quite drastically. In the summer, this lake here is completely drained and the buds for the leaves have sprouted. And some other, and there's also, most notably, there'll be, there'll be palette swaps. Like the grass will be yellow. The grass will be a slightly lighter green. I gotta say, I know a lot of people love summer, but me personally, I cannot stand the summer. I just don't like heat. So, the magic's run out. And also, the music changes slightly to fit the theme. Oh, there's Airy. Airy hungry now, need five caterpillars. And the, these goblin enemies are actually topless and wearing sunglasses, so nice attention to detail. Right, so you find caterpillars around this part of the world. Eek, hungry animals like caterpillars. Yoshi like caterpillars, and there's the yellow Jinjo. So as you can see, they've sprouted. So we can use them as platforms. This world has... Um, oh, like feathers surrounding the bottom. So you can't transform in any other season, because Mumbo has a stupid excuse. And now we can help Naughty. You look pretty strong. Can you move this boulder for me? Yeah. Wow, what strength! Come inside, and I'll give you a reward. The only problem is, it is designed so that it is impossible to get up here. You have to wait until autumn when the waters are back in the lake.
But over here is the autumn switch. Guarded by a stupid big clucker. Oh dear. So, autumn is now available. And this will do it for today's episode. So end off the video here, so next time on Banjo-Kazooie we're going to explore more of summer of Click Clock Wood. So until next time, see you later.